Hey guys, Dan here, and welcome to this free training on niche research. Guys, niche research, I'm telling you, you've been doing it backwards for all of this time. Now, in this short video, I'm going to actually train you on how to do niche research like the professionals do it, precisely how I do it inside of my strategy, and precisely how I've been doing it for the last decade. Now, no matter what YouTube tells you, I'm here to show you why you don't have to be a niche research wizard to make Kindle Direct Publishing work for you. The idea here is that even if you never find obscure magic niches every KDP seller chases, you can still build a very substantial and long-term passive income and get to taste that life of freedom that only a very small percentage of people ever get to taste. You see, it's commonly thought in the self-publishing industry that you need to find untapped, rarer than the dodo bird niches to make any real traction with Kindle Direct Publishing. Guys, this is like chasing the leprechaun, chasing the rainbow, that's chasing the pot of gold. You will never get to the gold, and even if by some miracle you do find one of these magic niches, it's just not sustainable. There are vultures out there watching and waiting for somebody to start publishing into a niche like this. In no time at all, your once in a lifetime find will be flooded with thousands of low quality books and it will just destroy your business. Guys, this is not the way to build a long term generational passive income with Kindle Direct Publishing. Look, I could say this all day long, but instead I'm just going to teach you right here right now how to do niche research like the professionals do. You will not learn this anywhere else. So let's jump right into the training. So the first step is find 20 niches that are proven to sell titles in Kindle Direct Publishing. Now, don't be too picky about this, guys. You don't need to spend hours, days, or even weeks trying to find 20 obscure magic niches. A simple Google search and 10 minutes of reading will give you a list of popular book niches. Then step number two is publish one single book into each of these 20 niches. So guys, one single title into each of these 20 niches. Now, you do need to spend a little bit of time making quality products here. Ensure that your covers are all done nice, that your book internals are also put together very well, and your meta descriptions and book title is squared away and on point. Essentially, you want all 20 titles to be on an equal quality level. This will also work for any type of book. If you are doing low and no content or full form books, it does not matter. Okay, moving on. Step number three, watch your sales. So if you have spent some time on all 20 books and the quality is there, you will make sales. And out of these sales, there will be clear winning titles. Whether a single book sells three times and others two and some zero, it's obvious that the book that sold three is the most popular of all your titles. So now that we have a winner, we take our own sales data and match it up to what niche that book was in. Next, based off our own specific sales, the data will tell us what niche is now our new niche. So essentially guys, what we are doing here is we are not relying on blog posts or what other people say are current hot niches. We are not relying on articles where other people say this niche is great and that niche is great. Everybody is in those niches, guys. They are flooded because they are online for everybody else to see. Instead, this strategy allows you to use your own sales data to determine a winning niche for you. So once we have all 20 books published into 20 niches, we have figured out which is our number one seller and what niche it comes from, what do we do next? Well, next, we need to ensure that we publish more books into that niche, but there is a catch. Niche is not the only data point involved in this strategy. What we need to do now is look at the other variables that could have contributed to the book selling. So there are three major data points that you need to consider. These data points are cover, title, and description. Now, the cover is the number one customer side asset that we can create because when a prospect is browsing the search results for their next book, it is the appealing nature of the cover that will draw in their attention. The next variable in a prospect's buying journey is the title, and if the cover and title are appealing to the prospect, they might just click on your title and read what? The description, guys. Now this is where the sale is made. Your description is essentially your sales copy. It should have a specific structure every single time. For example, you could break a description down into three parts, and honestly this structure is what works best most of the time. 
First, the introduction. Then you go into the story and what the book is all about. And at the end, you put the offer. That little bit of text that gets them over the line and clicking that buy button. So you have an introduction, then you tell a story, and then you get them to purchase, right? Now, once you have figured out what description structure works best for you, then you are going to consistently use that description structure. But first, you need to figure out what works best for you and more specifically inside of your niche. So how do we figure out whether it's the cover, title or description that's selling these titles? Well, guys, this is where it comes down to split testing. We already know what niche sells. So now we are going to create a slew of books inside of that niche and test each data point against one another. For example, we're going to use a similar cover structure. When I say that, I mean where you place your elements in your cover. And then a similar title structure. And lastly, a slightly different description structure to the original book that gave you your niche. So therefore, you are split testing your description against the original title's description structure. And then you are going to do this again for cover and then again for the title. Now you need to watch your sales once again. And from this, you're going to figure out what cover structure and what title structure and what description structure works well with your new niche. Then you're going to use the winning structure combination for each data point in every single book you publish in that niche from this point forward. And guys, if you do this the right way, every book you publish is almost guaranteed to make you sales. So let's just go over this thing one last time, just to really drive it home. Initially, you need to find 20 niches that have a history of selling with KDP. And then you need to publish a single book into each niche. Make sure you spend a little bit of time on these books and ensure that they are all of equal quality standard. And then you need to just watch what sells. So if you have done this right, you're going to find a clear winner or two from all 20 titles. When you find that winner, you now have your niche based off your own specific sales data and not what the leprechauns at the end of the rainbow tell you to do. Now, from this point on, guys, you're going to create new titles inside of this niche and you're going to split test the three data points, cover, title and description. And what I mean by split test your three data points is you're going to create an equal number of new books inside of your new niche and you're going to duplicate the cover, title and description from your original book that gave you your niche into your new books. But you're going to change one single variable structure slightly, for example, the cover element placements. Then you will create more books and change only the title structure slightly. And the same goes for the description. Now, after you watch your sales data, you're going to discover what combinations of covers, titles and description structures work well inside of your niche. And every single book that you publish into that niche from this point forward will be published using your highly optimized structure and you are going to sell like crazy. So guys, this is how the professionals do niche research. We base everything off our sales data and we don't do what the internet says we should be doing. So you see guys, this is just a small part of a larger business model when it comes to the KDP Permanent Cash Flow Program. You can see the power that can be involved in a structure such as this. Now imagine stringing together all of the other elements that go into making a successful business with KDP and structuring them with such professionalism as I've just showed you in this previous niche strategy. Okay guys, don't forget that below this video, there is a PDF download document that you can use to actually go ahead and implement this precise strategy into your business today. Now, I hope you got some true value out of this video and I'll talk to you all very soon.